Welcome to heck! Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Super Princess Peach. In the last episode, we got through the Shriek Mansion, and surprise surprise, King Boo was hanging out over there, but he was a very big pushover. In this episode, we are headed into Fury Volcano! But first, let's go shopping, because that's more fun. In World 4, we get a new item. I got the soda! Courage Soda. This drink was created by merchants. All you have to do is attack enemies with me and you get coins. So I wanted to save up some money so I could switch to Geico. No. So I could um, collect this Courage Soda that I knew was coming up because it's a nice little return value on stuff. So now anytime we hit an enemy, we'll get some coins. We used to only get this whenever we did combos, but now instead we do it with regular attacks. Which is very, very nice. So I feel like we'll have a nice return with that. It's a investment of sorts. Whatever I could say to justify my crummy purchases. Okay, into Fury Volcano we go. Again, an area that I thought was going to be like really difficult, but it was not that bad from what I remember. It's all bright and cheery in the background despite the lava at our feet. Hello! We got ourselves these dino guys from Super Mario World, which is really cool. And they even operate the same where you have to like jump on them twice, which is really awesome. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. Like, this game has like a lot of elements from a lot of games, a lot of different Mario games. Like, we have the Yoshi's Island uh, style in the field too, with like the tutorial blocks and uh, picking up and throwing enemies or whatever. Uh, we have jumping on enemies that don't actually KO them, like with uh, Wario Land and Wario World. We have um, these enemies from Mario World it, uh, starting to appear, and Luigi's Mansion enemies. It's a lot of uh, references, a lot of like. Uh, it's like an amalgamation of uh, Mario history up to this point. What does this say? So you want to know what the switch with the strange wing does? I'm not quite sure. Even a Metal Gear reference. Mm, well, they call this place Fury Volcano. You might want to try copying it and see what happens. So it's not enough to just stand on the switch. We gotta be furious when standing on it. And we're good. Get ourselves a nice little music box. Hey, it quite literally is a music box, now that I think about it. That's pretty funny. I wonder if they did that on purpose, or it was just like a nice little easy thing for them to illustrate. Who knows? But yeah, I really like all the elements from a bunch of different Mario games uh, bring br uh, brought into this game. So, like, you think I'd be, like, all about it and would be praising it that much more, but, like, I don't know, it's, it's just a pretty good game. I'm, I'm having fun, so let's just be okay with that for the time being, I guess. You saved a toad. I hope you're all having fun as well. Uh, so in the last episode, I was talking about, like, uh, good old Reggie being such a prankster with uh, talking about Mother 3 being localized or whatever. Who knows? Maybe it'll actually happen. Uh, I don't know. It's just, like, there's been so many things lately that make me feel like it has to be in the works, maybe, because, like, it was Mother 3's 13th, 15th anniversary, and, like, the Hobonichi Mother Project, where like a bunch of stuff has been coming out, like a bunch of merchandise, even though none of it's come to America, it's just, it's very peculiar that's happening. Even though I know that's like an individual company, so like it's a toys company, so they just make whatever they want and do whatever they want. But, um, I don't know, just other things like Trials of Mana getting localized, the Famicom Detective Club getting remade and localized, and, uh,. Just a bunch of other things, like uh, the Great Ace Attorney even just got announced to be localized, which I'm so stinking excited for, because I wanted to play those games so stinking badly. And I'm really happy that they're finally coming over here. I've never actually got uh, any of the Ace Attorney trilogy, trilogy games, because I've always just like stuck with the ones I have on WiiWare, but um, supposedly it comes with the original trilogy as well, so um, I guess I'll be uh, finally getting the trilogy, even though I don't really need it, but uh, I just want to go get those two new games. That's really cool. I think this wind, uh, since it's like a uh, lava wind or whatever, it's lava fog, it will hurt you after X amount of time if you don't blow it away, so make sure you are uh, persistent with your blowage or something like that. Uh, let's slide down here. There's a. Hey, look, we even have the. I forgot this was even an ability. Okay. We have the mud boat from Super Mario Sunshine. It's just never ending references here. I don't know if it was actually the what they were going for, but come on, a wooden boat on lava? You, you, you gotta think it's like a sunshine reference. And it very well might be. Who knows, considering like all the other references that have been happening lately. Okay, so there we go. And even just it, it gets destroyed when you like when it hits a single wall. So like it has to be. It has to stink and be. 
clothes. Don't want to go over there. Uh, we got ourselves a toad. And we have one more to find in this place. What are else? Singing miserable be to be trapped here, like being stuck in the box and then stuck in a volcano. Uh, I don't know if the box is air conditioning or if it'd be like less hot in the box because like you're blocked off from the heat, but then like the heat still surrounds the box and like in that closed off area or something like that. I'm sure some heatologist that's watching right now will know the answer be like, um, actually, it will be really hot in there with the heat surrounding it, or it won't be hot at all because of the blockage of the heat and stuff. I don't know. Also, like, a heatologist? <laughs> what the fuck? Thankfully, the, uh, that lava waterfall is in the background, otherwise that would be very, very difficult for us to navigate. Let's just keep on going. Uh, we can destroy all these things if we like, and I'm surprised it didn't fall into the little magma right there, because it's underground, so you gotta call it magma. Okay, uh, head over here, we got ourselves a bunch of coins. Uh, go over this way, and we are good to go. We got ourselves all three toads, and a lot of coins afterwards, so that's really nice, on top of all the ones that we've been getting by beating the snot out of all these enemies. Go and pick this up, and we're gonna just slide down here. Hopefully, we could get the. Uh, wait, what? I didn't even see that was there. We got a mini game, a Toad Tote. Access it under the menu map screen. Let's. No, oh, thankfully I missed. I planned it that way. Yeah, that was it. And we get the star. Fifty more coins. You know, it's not that impressive. Fit just fifty coins. I can't buy anything with fifty coins. Well, maybe I could get like a song or a puzzle piece with fifty coins, but. Can't get anything good with that much. Uh, I guess we'll just keep on going. No, we'll end the episode after one level. Let's we'll make every episode super short. Has anyone ever attempted to do to do a let's play through like back when Vine was was a thing? Imagine like a let's play that was uh, comprised of entirely six second videos. Points for originality and dedication, but like my God, I don't think uh, I would ever want to go through with that. It'd be kind of funny though. Uh, just jump up here. Do not uh, let the Goomba stomp down. I don't think Peach said there was anything here. Uh, go ahead and squirt on this guy. So we could disintegrate him. And we're good. Uh, and we get disintegrated, or we get incinerated, rather. Pick him up and bring us down. Uh, we got ourselves a secret in this land. Oh, this thing. We're being really annoying. So like you're supposed to like plop it down so that it becomes like a platform or whatever. But it's just like it's really weird to throw because if you press B to let it go, then it like flings across the map. But if you press X, it doesn't really go where you want it to go. And it just like goes in place, but also not far enough or backwards or something like that. And you're trying to plop it into like a lava thing. Of course, I don't want to stand directly on top of it. And there's momentum. Oh boy. Everything's just coming up. What's the opposite of coming up, Millhouse? Coming down. Uh, Skinner, I guess, is the opposite of Milhouse. No, what's the opposite of Milhouse? I guess Bart? Coming down Bart? I don't think I know. And I'm pretty sure I missed something. There's a secret right there. Head down here? Yeah, because we hit the button, and now we got- Yeah, I think I did that in the original recording, too. Great, instead of saying the original P, I'm just saying the original recording. Where I like, I hit the button and I was just like, eh, I'm done here, I don't need to do anything else. Go over here, and we get the toad. Cool, cool, cool. In a very not cool level. I mean, it's, it's groovy, it's just not temperaturely uh, appropriate for that analogy. Or something like that. Uh, I guess we'll collect these coins. Three, four, five. And I guess that's it. Uh, nothing? Nothing. I guess we go back to the correct path. All the way down, not this way. Down the pipe, and out the pipe. 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Driver's ed, ed, dead, dead. I don't know. References. Nothing I say is original. Let's go over here now. Uh, I believe like the glumpy block is supposed to like 
jump on it while angry, then you pressure it down. Makes me very, very sad. Like we're hurting its feelings and its head. Well, it's entirely a head. We're hurting its everything. Uh, let's see. Just slide down here. Oh, we got a spike. We threw a ball in the opposite direction. Oh, it's a bouncy spike ball. That doesn't make sense. Also, it went into the background for some reason. We're still looking for a toad. It's in this area somewhere. Ouchies. Uh, let's see. I just want to know where the box is. Do you see a pink box where a toad might be hidden in? Booty! Booty! Uh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Thank you. And then Peach slides it with the steel chair! No. It's confirmed to pass. And let's see. I feel like I missed it. I feel like I definitely missed it. Uh, let's see. There's a 69 up there. Uh, celebratory 69. Will the 69 lead me to victory, even though it's gone now? Uh, oh no, I gotta go back, it seems. Why is she going in as a boat now? Okay, whatever. Why? And yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see, we go down here. Nothing. Go back in here. There is something. Okay. We should definitely look for it. There are a lot of pathways, I feel like. Hopefully the enemies didn't respawn. The enemies respawn! The enemies respawn! Oh no! Let's go over here. Get this. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Where are you? Oh, it was with the platforms. That's why I didn't find it, because I didn't bother with the main concept of this game. It better not have just been the stinking puzzle piece. Puzzle B piece 9. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else around here? Or it's not looking like it. If so, I'll be sad, Panda. Even though I got a collectible. I am sad, Panda. Cutting away. Okay, toboggan away. I don't even know if that's the correct word for this thing. I'm pretty sure someone's just laughing at me right now. Tee hee hee hee. Let's go this way. I think there's a bottom pathway that we could also go through. I'm getting vague flashbacks about that. Maybe that's like for something later on. I don't know. Uh, the secret's in here. Okay, Toad is in this place. Uh... It's another one of those, like, which one do you hit? Is there, like, any way to tell? They all look the same. Does one flap at a different speed? I don't know. Uh, this was the right one. Cool. We have enough to get ourselves a new upgrade. I will probably upgrade the hearts, because it's kind of weird to just have half a heart inside of me. Can you imagine just, like, having... Not just, like, half a heart inside of you, but, like, three full hearts and then a half a heart on top of that inside of you. That's, like, a bit awkward. Looks like she's about to take a dump. <laughs> and over here. And we're good. Got all three toads. And let's head over here. And we're good. Sorry, that sounded gross. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are almost halfway there, as soon as we get through this level. Let's go with tough coffee. A thousand coins for a cup of coffee. The economy sure is cruel in these days. Let's go! Right off the bat, we got ourselves a secret. Cool beans. We got spring. Oh, I vaguely remember this. I can't wait to get to, like, stuff I haven't seen so I can stop being like, oh, I remember this. I don't remember this. Oh, look at the happy clouds. <laughs> look how happy they are in the volcano. And this guy's just, like, self-satisfied. Uh, okay, there's a pipe there. There's a spike there. Uh, we could spring, maybe? But, if I could, jump up here. We got ourselves a puzzle piece. Is that the only secret, though? We're gonna have to leave and come back to find out. Or just tune in next week or something. Speaking of tuning in, because of, like, everything that's been happening lately, I, like, I'm actually behind on One Piece. It's amazing. Not, like, a bajillion episodes, but I actually have, like, 
five or six episodes that I haven't seen, so that's gonna be a fun time that I could actually just get to watch stuff at, of more than just one a week for like a single day, because I'll no doubtably, no doubtably, undoubtedly watch all of them in a single sitting, so uh, then I'll be back to having to wait once a week, and it's getting really, st well, it's always good, but it's getting even gooder than good right now, so uh, it's kind of a torturous wait, but. I'd rather have that than be spoiled on things. Uh, but yeah, I'm also watching the dub right now because I'm always watching the sub and dub simultaneously. Um, it's it's a really surreal feeling whenever you get to like watch One Piece at your own pace because uh, Dress Rosa is where they are right now and like it's um, that one's infamous for being like it felt like such a slog where like we were stuck there forever and we were, but it is going by so stinking quickly. And that kind of terrifies me for like my own personal reasons, because um, as someone who like wants to get in the voiceover industry, um, just the idea of, like One Piece, like One Piece is far from over still, especially the, on the dub side of things. But it's going by so quickly. Just like I want to have an opportunity to be able to be in One Piece before it ends. That's like my one dream goal. I have two dream, I have two dream roles that I would love to be. I would love to like portray as a character in One Piece. I have ideas of, like some characters I would want to be. I'm not gonna say who, but um, characters I think I would do a good job with. And then, but like I would still be honored to just be literally anyone, even if it's just like a single background character who says one line or just like a Wallace scene or something like that. That'd be incredible. I would absolutely adore that. But um, another thing that I would definitely love to do is. Um, if the Idol Master ever gets a dub, then I would absolutely love to play the producer in that. That would be incredible. I'd probably just be crying the entire time and be like, I'm so happy to be in this thing right now. <laughs> Maybe I should be talking about this. Maybe they'll find this and be like, wow, look at this nerd. We're not going to work with them. And that's a the thing that, like, I remember seeing a while back. Um, I'm not going to mention who it was, but they said someone who does YouTube stuff but also, like, does voiceover as well. Um, they said that, like, they've purposely been rejected for roles before they got roles taken away from them they already booked specifically because like uh companies or casting directors found out about the youtube work and uh they no longer wanted to work with him like not because of, like his behaviors or anything like that it was just like the type of work that it was uh comparing and having it be associated with the type of work that he was trying to do now it like they interpreted it as a bad look for them for some reason and i wonder if that's the same for let's plays and whatnot because like i don't know i know other let's players who um are also voice actors like perfect example our very own Teresa, who's voiced by <laughs> danny chambers and she's absolutely amazing she's doing a bunch of amazing uh, voiceover roles but she's also a really great let's player who um is still consistently uploading videos and i've been meaning to ask her just like has that ever been a concern for you to like um, having YouTube interfere with your voiceover stuff. Like, has that ever been an issue in the past before? Because I'm curious if that's happening. Because, like, everyone uses social media these days. Like, it's not, like, that's an issue. I feel like it'd be more so, like... I feel like more concerned thing would just be, like, um, the content. Like, not really like, the type of content, but just, like... I don't know. I know people do, like, the background checks for, like, uh, what do these people say on Twitter or Facebook? Or, like, what, what's their personality like? Are they representing our company well or anything like that? But... I don't know, it's just, it's weird to see, um, I wonder, like, what specifically, was it specifically just that genre of work that the, uh, YouTube creator was doing that got them in trouble with trying to do voiceover, or was it, like, how the content was presented, like, if I did it differently, would I be okay, or is anyone who does that going to be in trouble with it, I don't know, and, like, I know it's, like, on a roll-by-roll -roll basis, probably, I don't know what these enemies are. There's like fire shurikens. Look cool though. But yeah, it was just like a. It was a thing that made me think. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I should like uh, think about. It. Cause like I was, I'm always going back and forth. Like, should I create like a separate entity for myself on the internet just for voiceover stuff? Um, and just uh, for all that because uh, there's the benefit of having like the already established audience of Midnight and Beyond. But I know that doesn't really matter when like doing voiceover, but, like, I don't know if it would be... Where the fruit am I right now, by the way? Also, I have three toads. I did the level backwards somehow for some reason. Okay. Now we're gonna go and get all these coins that I missed for some reason. Okay, whatever. 
So I was saying, it was just like, um, I'm just unsure as to like what the best approach would be for that sort of thing in terms of uh, protecting or just uh, presenting myself online, I guess. It's all just a learning experience and whatnot. We're all living in the information era and like the world is constantly changing, so who knows? Let's just head in here for now, though. I don't even know what episode this is or like if we're on like the final level or world or whatever. I guess it's just. Excuse me, flames. Burst them up. And we are questionably good. Maybe, possibly, eventually, hopefully. We are turnip. We are turnip. Bop, 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 bop. Uh, oh, we're at the end of the episode. Okay, that's a very anticlimactic way to end. Be like, oh, okay, I guess we're done here now. I guess I could say goodbye. Thanks all for watching. I will get this outro done eventually. Correct video game. Let's play. Next time on Super Princess Peach, we're going to finish up Heck. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. <laughs> Super Princess Peach.